As the tour heads further south towards the Pyrenees, Juan Antonio Fletcher, stage winner and 10-time Tour de France veteran, takes in cycle through what he believes will be some of the toughest and most iconic locations of this year's tour. The first two weeks have already claimed the scalps of tour favourites Chris Froome and Alberto Contador as their GC hopes came crashing down in the wet and cold roads of northern France. But as Fletcher reveals to us, the real test lies ahead. Next up, stage 16, Carcassonne to Bagnères de Luchon. After a second richly deserved rest day, stage 16 bears its ugly head, maybe too soon for some, all 237 gruelling kilometres of it. The roads weave through southern France before hitting the mountains once more, the first of three days in the Pyrenees. The stage offers four categorised climbs and a treacherous descent down one of the most notorious roads in the Tour, the Col de Portet de Aspe. After the rider's legs have been softened from 196 kilometres, the climb of Port de Ballet lies between victory and defeat for one exceptional rider. Here we are, stage 16, Col de Portet de Aspe, it's a second category climb after 155 kilometres. It is a short climb, a very steep and final especially. And yeah, famous distance, terrible downhill with that tragic death of uh, Fabio Castelli. It's very steep and some tricky corners, so riders they want to have, they want to be in the front here on top and take the descent on the first positions. On this weather conditions, wet roads, you've got to be very careful going down. This downhill is very steep and the asphalt is not the best. So as you see, it's very bumpy and you carry, you catch us a lot of speed so quick. So you've got to be very careful on your brakes and yeah, make sure you don't take much risk here because you can, riders can really actually lose to the front on this instant. We're coming onto a really steep downhill and with this long steep section where you carry a lot of speed. So imagine on the race if the, if the riders that find these weather conditions, that's going to be a difference before the next climb. That's going to make some difference for sure. Now it starts to, to get a bit tricky. You are in the woods, so if it's wet or even if it's been raining the night before, it's going to be wet on the, wet on the, on the corners. At 237.5 kilometres, it is the longest stage of this year's tour, with the final climb over Port de Ballet, a turning point that may cause disruption in the overall standings. Home to the infamous Chaingate scandal in 2011, riders will have to be on their guard from attacks. Last kilometre of the last climb of the stage, one of the longest stages to the France, Port de Ballet. It's quite a long climb, about 20 kilometres, quite steep too. Famous because in the past, and his leg dropped his chain and was this with Contador, this issue. And yeah, probably a breakaway will be here. And right as from the breakaway, they will try to go on the attack here. It is a mountain stage in the Pyrenees, but on an uphill finish. So it's gonna take a long way until the good group goes. And after that, they gotta do those, all those climbs until they hit the real one, which is the final one for the Van It's quite a, horse category climb. It's a properly horse category climb. It is a difficult climb. Narrow, steep, I mean, constant, constant gradient. And it's a long one, it's about 20 kilometers. It's an horse category, you don't got many in the tour. It is one of them. So 
here's where the stage finishes after 237 kilometers after so many climbs especially the last one which is a long one and with a tricky downhill too so we're in the Pyrenees strong guy and probably somebody in the breakaway is going to be the winner today <laughs>